Hello everyone, Axel is speaking. In the post balance patch video where I test scepter sword power masmo combination. The balance patch gave an evade frame for scepter 2 and scepter 4, so for both blocks. Thing is, I approached this fight thinking I'm fighting a single ranger, and I ran directly into the traps. Good start. Thing is, this particular build has a lot of condi clans and quite a lot of defenses. My shutters cleanse conditions. I have a signet of illusion which recharges my shutters, and on top of that, my signets give me distortion and cleanse my conditions. If you add the fact that I've got two blocks on Scepter 2 and Sword 4, and this build is able to hold its ground. In terms of offense, well, I always have my twin gravity well. Scepter may not be great sword in terms of damage, but the defense it provides, well, kind of gives me what I need. And it's hard not to like Sword Phantasm and Sword 4 block when they connect. Especially as both the Scepter and Sword blocks generate me clones, so I was able to distort safely and stomp safely. So I've got a clone machine. At this point you have seen the basics, let us see a 2 vs 4 fight in our camp, which we lose. This fight is an example of a brawl, and it shows what I see to be the strength of this particular Masmo build. If you look at this fight as a whole, I want to be in the middle of a brawl, generate clones, shatter a lot, and tactically use the signets to generate distortions. After the buff, our blocks don't kill us anymore, and unlike Greatsword, where you want to be at longest possible range, here I want to be an in-your-face type of an opponent. Unfortunately, they didn't focus me, they focused Drew. Still, I was able to stay in your face as a mesmer for quite a long time, combining distortions and blocks. The impulse damage I'm dealing is much lower than a greatsword, but this playstyle appeals to me much more than the greatsword playstyle. Greatsword is an AoE weapon, but Scepter Sword is a single target hunter, a duelist setup. When combined with Shield of Hand, and with the healing signet, I am able to recharge the blocks on my sword shield combination, or quickly cast two swordsmen if needed, and after first shatter they will return, because of Chrono Phantasma. In the meantime, however, I didn't notice Drew got killed, and so my tunnel vision killed us again. Weaknesses of this setup? Anything which pierces blocks. The only advantage of Scepter Sword over a Great Sword is the presence of two blocks. Also, I'm still playing in Berserker, this means that Dazes and Immobilizes are kind of deadly for me. My weapons have quite short range, so kiting should also be able to destroy me. Thank you for watching, Exalis out.